Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online YouTube channel. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about application of inverse Laplace transformation for the simultaneous equation. We were learning this and we have already learned about how the inverse Laplace transformation is applied in uh, ordinary differential equation. And here is an example which is based upon the application of inverse Laplace transformation in simultaneous equation. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I would like to recall you with some formulas like that we have discussed in the previous lecture and that were uh, like inverse Laplace transformation of uh, dx, dx will be uh, like s times Laplace transformation of x minus uh, x0. Similarly inverse Laplace transformation of d square x, d represents the differentiation how many times we are going to differentiate two means two times it is the x is differentiated twice so we have here s square times laplace transformation of x minus x zero minus x dash zero similarly we proceed so we have here two equations so i am going to write here solution solution uh, while solving uh, inverse Laplace transformation for a simultaneous equation, we will for first formula which we use is this formula and I have discussed about this in my previous lecture. So you can you will get the link in the description or, or you can visit the playlist also. So I'm going to write here solution and the first step is similar like that is taking Laplace transformation Laplace transformation on both side so on taking laplace transformation of both on both side we will have here this is dx by dt so we can write it as s times laplace transformation of x minus x zero minus laplace transformation of y c we are just taking laplace transformation on both side and laplace transformation of e to the power t will be one upon s minus one okay so this much for the first equation this is first equation and this is second equation so we have got this now we will solve this further so we are provided that with the value that x0 equals to 1 and laplace transformation of y so we will write it as s times laplace transformation of x minus 1 minus laplace transformation of y and bring this this side so we will have here minus 1 upon s minus 1 equals to 0 i will explain you further why i have brought this portion this side uh, so we have here this is for first from the first equation again let's be denoted by equation 1 okay now we have again again we are using uh, laplace transformation for this portion also so from here we will have s times laplace transformation of y minus y 0 plus Laplace transformation of x okay equals to Laplace transformation, of, Laplace transformation of sine t will be equals to 1 upon s square plus 1 okay so we will rewrite it as putting the value of y0 equals to 0 so we will have here yes times Laplace transformation of y plus Laplace transformation of x minus 1 upon s square plus 1 equals to 0. Let the, uh, now let's rearrange this equation in this equ as equ per the equation 1. So we will write it as Laplace transformation of x plus s times Laplace transformation of y minus 1 upon s square plus 1 equals to 0. Let this be equation two okay now we will do the application of kramer's rule to find the value of laplace transformation of x laplace transformation of y how we are going to do this see here now we will do write as laplace transformation of x divided by laplace transformation of y minus laplace transformation of y divided by equals to one 
upon okay now what we will do we are taking laplace transformation of x so cover this portion this portion and this portion so uncovering these two portion what we will get minus one one more step is remaining here sorry for this what we will do here s times laplace transformation of x minus laplace transformation of y and we have here minus one and minus one upon s minus one so on so on adding these two on taking minus and common and adding these two we will get here s upon s minus one equals to zero and now this is our equation one okay this is not equation one this is this both are same uh, what i have done i have simply added these two now uh, we will cover this portion and this portion so remaining we will have here the here the coefficient of laplace transformation of y is minus one so minus one divided by uh, sorry minus one and s and other we have minus s upon s minus one and here we have minus one upon s square plus one so this was for uh, laplace transformation of x similarly for laplace transformation of y we have for laplace transformation of y cover this cover this and this so we have here s and one and we have here minus s upon s minus one and minus one upon s square plus one okay now for under one we have cover this okay and this so we will have here s and one again minus one and s now we will proceed further to solve this numerical okay now if you have a question like how we got this s upon s plus one we if we take we we are adding suppose this is rough and we have to add minus one and minus one upon s minus one so take minus common so we can write one plus one upon s minus one if we take lcm so we will have here s minus one plus one upon s minus one cancel out so we will have a minus s upon s minus one this is how we got this okay now let's proceed further so we will do the same like laplace transformation of x upon this uh, when we are multiplying downward we will take positive sign and upward is subtracted so we will have here minus minus gets plus so one upon s square plus one and minus and in multiplying these two we will have s square by s minus one s gets multiplied with s upon s minus one so we'll have here s square by s minus one and this is minus so minus and on multiplying upward we will take minus so this is minus and minus so minus minus gets plus sign okay this is for laplace transformation of x similarly equals to minus laplace transformation of y upon on multiplying downward we will have here minus s upon s square plus one and minus and minus uh, we are multiplying from bottom to top so we have here minus s upon by one so minus s minus one and multiplying upward we have to multiply this by minus sign so minus and minus will get plus here similarly we have here one upon downward so s square and minus and minus will get plus one one and one one and minus one is minus one and multiplying upward so minus minus gets plus okay so this is what we get now let's proceed further so let's so find the value of laplace transformation of x so we can uh, take as laplace transformation of x equals to we will compare using use first and last equation so laplace transformation of x equals to one upon s square plus one times one upon s square plus one plus s square by s minus one okay so we will do the multiplication so laplace transformation of x will finally be one upon s square plus one whole square plus s square by s square plus one times s minus one next we need to factorize this portion so i have 
i'm providing you how the factorization also like how we are supposed to factorize this portion so we have s square upon s uh, s square plus 1 times s minus 1 so this is as it is so we are going to write it as a upon s minus 1 i have also recorded provided some lecture which is based upon the how to do the partial fraction you can watch those video also so uh, here it is linear factor so a upon s minus 1 and here it is quadratic so s square plus 1 will be written as bs plus c upon s square plus 1 so on solving these two equations so initially we have to put we have to make any one of these term as 0 so for that we have i have selected at s equals to 1 so if i took x take s equals to 1 so this portion gets 0 because something multiplied with 0 will get converted to 0 and this is how we calculate the value of a and we are on calculating the value of a we have to do the comparison we have to do the comparison so that we will be calculate the we will be able to calculate the value further so we have here here if we do the multiplication we have a times s square so a s square and b s gets multiplied with s so we will have uh, b s square so a b s square a s square plus b s square so from there we got a plus b we have a s square plus b s square and we are comparing the constants so a and here on the left hand side we have s square so 1 times s squared so a plus b equals to 1 this is how we got this equation so we know the value of a is 1 by 2 so 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 and a minus c equals to 0 so we already know the value of a so we have got c equals to 1 by 2 now we will substitute this a b c value here so on doing so we got the partial fraction as 1 upon 2 times uh, 1 upon 2 by this portion so we can rewrite it as that inverse laplace transformation of or in laplace transformation of x equals to 1 upon s square plus 1 whole square plus and we have here 1 upon 2 times 1 upon s minus 1 plus s upon s square plus 1 plus 1 upon s square plus 1 now we will have here x equals to inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s square plus 1 whole square plus 1 upon 2 times inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s minus 1 plus inverse laplace transformation of s upon s square plus 1 plus inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s square plus 1 i hope you remember this numerical in my which i have solved in the previous example using the inverse laplace transformation and applying the convolution theorem so we will simply write the formula here we will take it as a formula and uh, we know that inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s square plus 1 upon uh, s square plus 1 whole square equals to 1 upon 2 times sin t minus t times cos t plus 1 upon 2 times e to the power t plus cos t plus sin t this is for the value of x now we will calculate the value of y so we have here minus again minus inverse laplace transformation of y equals to 1 upon s square plus 1 multiplied by minus s upon s square plus 1 plus s by s minus 1 next what we will do see here minus laplace transformation of y equals to multiply these terms so we will have here minus s upon s square plus 1 whole square and plus s upon s minus 1 times s square plus 1 now we will mul do the multiplication with minus sign also so we have laplace transformation of y equals to s upon s square plus 1 whole square minus s upon s minus 1 times s square plus 1 so again we have to the, do the partial fraction of this portion because we have here linear factor and here this is quadratic so how we are going to do this see here we have 
uh, we are doing the partial fraction of s upon s square plus 1 times s minus 1. So uh, this is written as as plus b upon s square plus 1 and c by s minus 1 for this portion, linear portion. So initially we have to take one value which will uh, make uh, this any one of these two as 0. So initially I took s equals to 0, sorry s equals to 1 so that 1 minus 1 will get 0 and this portion gets 0 and it, due to that we got to calculate the value of c and after calculating the value of c we have to do the comparison. You can watch my lectures on partial fraction uh, let's uh, and now let's move further. So we have calculated a, b and c and uh, we, we, we and after calculating the value we have got this for function this terms as this portion so we will have here laplace transformation of y or simply i am going to write here y equals to let's do one more step that laplace transformation of y equals to s upon s square plus one whole square minus this portion will be equal to one upon two times one upon s square plus one minus s upon s square plus 1 minus 1 upon s minus 1. Now the stage step is same that is Laplace y equals to that is y equals to inverse Laplace transformation of s upon s square plus 1 whole square minus 1 upon 2 times inverse Laplace transformation of s 1 upon s square plus 1 minus inverse Laplace transformation of s upon s square plus 1 and minus inverse Laplace transformation of 1 upon s minus 1 and close the bracket. Now we will write down the final answer doing after doing the inverse Laplace transformation of these terms. So finally we will get y equals to 1 upon 1 upon 2 t sin t minus 1 upon 2 times 1 by s square a by a s square plus a square is sin t minus cos t minus e to the power t and we uh, this is our answer or you can do one more step taking 1 by 2 common from these all and multiplying these terms with minus sign so this is up to you and this is our final answer and i would like to provide you with the two formula that is since inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s square plus a square whole square equals to 1 upon 2 a square times sine a t minus a t cos a t which i used while calculating the while calculating the value of x similarly we have one more formula since inverse laplace transformation of s upon s square plus a square whole square equals to 1 by 2 a square times t times sine a t this is what i used while calculating the value of y and i hope you enjoyed this lecture stay connected with civil learning online youtube channel see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself